So I was contacted recently by Harry from Harry's Holsters. And he told me, hey, I'm a young guy with a small holster company and I really support law enforcement. And I'm a concealed carry permit holder and I make all my own holsters. And I think they're really cool and I think your audience would really like them. So I sent him back, hey, I'm uh, kind of an old guy and I'm a cop and I love concealed carry permit holders and I would love to check out your holsters. So he sent me a holster. <laughs> All right, man, take a seat, buckle up. Ordinarily, we'd start with uh, orientation of the car here, but we got calls pending, and we got to get to them. So, we're rolling. We're going to have to learn on the way. All right, today, I... Hey, look at the website. He said, is there any pistol that you have that you would like to have a holster for? And I said, hey, you know what? I've been looking for forever for a Kydex inside the waistband holster is my Smith 360 PD. And he says, you know what? We're actually looking into doing new revolver holsters. Hopefully more on that later. But I haven't gotten into that. He says, is there anything off of this list that you could use a holster for? And I said, hey, you know what? I looked at his list. I said, wow, I don't have very many holsters for my Glock 27 anymore. I used to because I used to carry this a lot more than I do now, but now that I've moved on to a lot more full-size guns, uh, both on duty and as for off-duty and concealed carry, this thing's kind of fallen to the wayside. I haven't been using it a lot lately. He says, so I don't actually own a Kydex inside the waistband holster for this pistol. He says, I got just the thing for you. What color do you want and how do you carry it? And I says, well, normally I carry inside the waistband strong side but I don't really care, and I don't really care about the color. I'm gonna try whatever you think is gonna work best with this pistol. So he sent me this, and I honestly don't know what's inside. So let's find out. So I got the uh, Cold Steel Raja 2, which was a real big winner in the comments section over on the Everyday Carry video that I did. And we're gonna use that to pop this puppy open and see what Harry's holsters thinks would work best. All right, so I guess we're using the shotgun approach on this one. He sent all sorts of stuff, and let me see what's in here. We've got a little wing that looks like you attach to kind of keep it oriented where you want it, and he has the ubiquitous little plastic clip that a lot of companies have, and I see already he's got a little inboard slant to the clip. Hopefully that locks onto the belt a whole lot better. We've got a utility clip. I've heard of utility clips a little bit before. A lot of people use them to hook their holster onto like drawstring pants, which everybody knows I like being lazy all the time and wearing drawstring pants. And he's got kind of an inside the waistband magazine holder. And here's the funny thing, I've never used an inside the waistband magazine holder before. So this is gonna be fun to kind of try out. So looking at him right from the onset, it looks like there's a couple different positions. You can see the holes. It looks like there's either straight drop or like an FBI angle, depending on if you want to carry it strong side or more appendix or more up front or more straight to your side, depending on how big or small of a guy you are. And there's a few other holes down here that I haven't discovered what they're there for yet, but I'm sure I will shortly. And then on the inside the waistband magazine pouch, it looks like you've got straight drop, a little FBI can't hole down in there. And then it's also universal on both sides. So you could carry it either on your right or left side. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to buy a separate product and then fiddle around. Maybe you have to return it or buy another product to do the other side. You can just change screws out. And these are held together with the very same type of screws that you see on a lot of other Kydex holsters that have a little nub on the inside and the screw comes through on the other side. I'm going to play around with them before I go lock them on, but it's always a good idea to lock tight those in there. So let's check our retention here. Snaps in pretty well. Comes out a little rough, but there are uh, adjustments there. I'll have to adjust those and get a nice lock in. I don't know, once I put on my belt, that's probably going to be pretty close to the amount of retention that I want on it. I, I, don't, I really hate having holsters like uh, neoprene holsters where the gun will pop right out, and I find that that's a big problem with the Glock 27 is the Glock 27 has got this rounded front muzzle that tends to, when you put it in a soft leather holster or a neoprene holster, it tends to push itself out because of how stubby it is in that rounded front. It does make it a little easier to conceal because you don't get that squared off edge on such a small gun, but it makes it hard with any type of squish in the holsters that'll pop the thing out. So Kydex is probably our best solution there. And that'll keep this thing from popping out of the waistband, which is really one of the major reasons that I don't carry it a lot anymore. I found it hard to inside the waistband this gun and outside the waistband it really didn't make sense to go with a smaller gun if you're an outside the waistband. I'd rather have the extra capacity and extra muzzle length. 
But here's a little inside the waistband magazine carrier, and it seems that the inside the waistband magazine carrier is meant to carry really low, which is great for the little pierce grips that I put on the end of my Baby Glock magazines. Helps an awful lot with getting a good grip on the pistol, and so I always use those on all of my Baby Glocks. And this one sits really far into the magazine pouch. I'll have to see how that works. Like I said, I've never used any of these before. So I'm going to get to wearing and playing with these for a little while, and hopefully really soon I'll get to you guys with a review of what I thought of them. In the meantime, you guys stay safe out there, both on and off duty. I'd like to thank all the Patreon supporters, and especially the Shift Supervisor level Patreon supporters that we have listed here. Your contributions are what allows free field training to continue on and become better. Thank you. Well, now if you like that video, go ahead and subscribe, because there's a whole lot more to come. As soon as I uh, finish up these calls, go 10-8. County 291. County 291.